Hello everyone, Roguefox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you three water item elevator designs for Bedrock Edition. With the update Aquatic now out on Bedrock Edition, items in water will now float to the surface. So, we'll be using that new game mechanic to our advantage as we build these item elevators. Now, before you, I have three different designs. The one to the right is going to be the slowest design, but the cheapest. The one to the left is going to be the medium speed. And then the one right in the center is going to be the fastest one. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Design number one is what I like to call the poor man's item elevator. And that's because this design doesn't require any redstone. The only redstone component that we're using for this design is one hopper. Now, this design will be the slowest out of all three because we're not using redstone. But this design is perfect for early on in the game if you're just starting your world or your realm. So let's go ahead and build this thing. For this design, all you need is a 3x3 three three area. Now I went ahead and built the tower already just to save some time. For those of you who aren't too familiar with the item elevator, all you need is a structure just like this. You want a little plus shape with a hole going down the middle. This is 10 blocks high, so we're just going to work with that. Now to build this thing, what we want to do up top is come a block up like this. This is going to hold our water. So we can go ahead and place blocks on both sides of this right here knock that out and on this block right here go ahead and grab a chest and place it down so you can see it just like this knock this block out go ahead and crouch place a hopper right into the back of the chest like that and then grab your bucket of water and place it right here in that gap all that water will flow down below as you see right here now all we have to do is come down to this level right here punch this block out and believe it or not that is all done so if we go ahead let's say we have some diamonds that we want to send up to the top like I said, it's going to be very slow, but if we throw it up here, you can see it's going to make its way up the water stream, and eventually it's going to make its way to the top here. So let's go ahead and come up here and try to meet it. So we're waiting. Our items are going to come up, flow forward, and then they're going to go right into our chest. And there we go. That is design number one, the poor man's item elevator. Design number two will be a lot quicker than design number one, and that's because we are incorporating redstone into this design. Now, for this build, you will also need a 3x4 area, but if you want to get technical and include that one block that sticks out right there, you will need a 3x5 area. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go. There are all the supplies we'll need for this design. If you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump into this design. For this design, what we want to do is grab our observer blocks. We want to come to this block right here and come two blocks up like this and have our observer facing up like that, arrow up. And then we wanna come on down below here and we wanna run an observer into this observer like that. And that will create a redstone clock as you can see here. Now go ahead and grab your dropper. We wanna come up top, place our dropper facing up and you should hear the ticking. Now we do wanna shut that down. So let's go ahead and put in our floor. So we wanna come out like this. This will be our floor level. Grab a sticky piston, come under the block here, place a sticky piston down like that, get your lever, place it on top, extend it, and then pull that observer back, and that will kill the clock. And that will be our redstone circuit for this build. So that's all finished. Now what we want to do is set in our chest. So go ahead and crouch place a hopper into the dropper like that, and a hopper into this hopper here, with a chest on top. And that's how we place in our items into our item elevator. Now, like the other design, we go ahead and create our item elevator. So we make this little plus design like this. And then I'm going to run it to the top and then I'll meet you up there. Once you get to the top, it's going to look the exact same as our first design. We have our water source in the back here flowing down into our item elevator. And then we have our hopper for collecting the items. And then that's going to run into the back of our chest. Now let's go on down below. We can fill this in for our floor. And if you wanted to, you can place your lever right here with your sticky piston down below and your observers off to the side over here with a block right here. That'll work just the same. And it may look a little neater so you don't have it in the center. It's up to you, but I'm just throwing that out there. Now let's go ahead and test this out. So we want to open our chest, grab a half stack of glass. Let's throw that in. You can see that is filtering into our dropper. Now when everything is all filtered in, we can flip our lever. Our observer is going to extend under our dropper, powering it, and you can see that it's shooting our items up. And then, as you saw before, it's going to collect into our hopper here and go right into our chest. 
And there you have it everyone, that is design number two. Now it's time for our third and final design of the day. And this item elevator will be using the comparator clock, just like we used to use in our old school item elevators. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the supplies for this design. And there they are. And like the last one, if you want to go ahead and pause the video, grab the supplies, do that, and then we'll jump right into the build. For this design, what we want to do is grab a block and place one temporarily right there. Get your dropper, place it facing up. We can go ahead and knock this out. Now we're going to go ahead and place in our redstone circuit. So place a piece of redstone dust down right there. Comparator facing out, set that to subtract mode. We're going to run that into a block. Redstone dust down like that to complete that circuit. Redstone dust right here, and then we want to run a repeater under the dropper like that, and we're going to run that into a block. Redstone dust on top, and that is our circuit completed. So we can go ahead and place in our floor now. So our floor will be right here. Grab your lever, place it down, and let's test it out. So you can hear we have our comparator clock, and as you can tell, this one is a lot faster than the last design, so this is probably the fastest design. Let's shut that down. Now go ahead, we want to crouch place a hopper into the dropper, hopper into that hopper like the last one, just on top, and from here we can just start building our item elevator. So again, we make the plus sign like this. I'm going to run this to the top, and then I'll meet you up there. And we are at the top of this item elevator. Like I said, all the designs are going to be the same up top, you can see right there. So all we have to do now is just go ahead and place some water right here. And that's going to run all the way down to our dropper. And then we have our hopper here with our chest. Now let's go ahead and come down below. We're going to check this thing out. And we can actually fill this in to make it look a little neater. So put some blocks right there. And let's go ahead and run a half stack of glass once again. So that's going to start filtering in. And then all we do is flip the lever. And you can see that is a lot quicker than the other one. That's going all the way up, and like all the other designs, it's going to come up, push forward right into the hopper, and then collect into the chest. And there you have it everyone, three water item elevator designs for Bedrock Edition. This is the end of our tutorial, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, this has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.